tracking trauma and making a picture. By now, you may have understood that trauma is nothing but unresolved conflicts from the past. In order to heal them, we obviously have to know something about them. This is where the psychologist usually comes in and tries to map the events leading to destructive beliefs. Sadly, we will hardly reach the level that really matters here, this unconscious mind. This is where the forgotten things are stored, that which was too much. This is where most of our history before the age of free is stored, the time when the most severe trauma were created. Luckily, there is a simple solution to the dilemma. Using telepathy, there is no limit in time and space, neither to any soul being. While telepathy is given every living being as a birthright, the necessary knowledge and experience is not, but it can be learned and exercised. Maybe you remember what I initially told you about spotting old traumas. The key words are soap, opera lines and chronic issues. If you don't remember it, please have one more look at my little friends session. And as we now know, that behind any trauma, there are self-destructive feelings. We can search for them. Feelings like being lonely, unworthy, or finding no way out. Upon asking the soul telepathically, we can identify such feelings. Likewise, we can expect other persons to have been involved in most traumas, which leads us to a relationship. Using telepathy, we may systematically track down, not necessarily an actual event, which doesn't really matter anyway, but the experience that caused the trauma back then, connected to the issues bothering us now. Let us say for a given person, a main problem turns out to be connected with pregnancy, with the time in mother's womb. Because any person only has one mother and one father in this lifetime, it is easy to find the two of them telepathically and ask how things were for them during pregnancy. In this way, a picture emerges as to why an issue became necessary. Mothers, maybe minor worry, gave rise to an existential stress. As mother's worry was reoccurring or permanent, the stress became too. The subconscious did its best to adapt to the permanent stressy circumstances by only keeping the body somewhat on hold, allowing some growth. However, it prevented the development of the ideally best body. Because such a prolonged stress is almost solely of human nature, something about mortgages or the like, nature has no way to recognize it and less so perceive when or if at all it vanishes. By directing my attention to such a problem, it inevitably leads to the underlying experience. What this reveals is the emotional aspects of the event that led to the experience loss of control, being overwhelmed, hopelessness. Less obvious, but still discoverable, are other important facts, such as age, relationships, whether it was a loss or expectations. 